These are from Sweden. Look at the golf balls. All right, so we are back at the shop. Have like super headache today. I don't know what's going on there, but drinking my coffee, like migraine when you get it like right in your sinus, like migraine. Mm. It's always something, guys. Always something. All right, so here's the ball. It needs a little bit of air, but I'm guessing that it doesn't have a hole in it. It does have a little bit of discoloration, a little bit of yellowing. <coughs> Oh, a little bit of a cough today, like a little light cough. I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, so there's a couple pairs of shoes that my daughter handed to me. These ones are called Karium, Kariuma. They're like um, they're like skate shoes or something like that. These were on these were on the Amazon. Now these are probably something you get off of maybe. I don't know if you have to get them off of their site or you can get them on like wish.com or whatever it is but these are a $50 sale so I'm going to list these on eBay <coughs> oh, man I got a tickle a tickle <clears throat> and these also this was another brand that we looked up these are cod cod costram or something I don't know what these are but they're like china type of deal but these also sell for probably like 30 or 40 dollars online so I think I'm going to put those online too Definitely those other ones. We probably should have grabbed pallets that had more of them shoes on them because they do have a decent sell-through rate. It's really not that bad. Just one of those brands that you don't really know. You don't know what it is until you pick it up. All right, so we got this at the bins. I think there's one. This one is a, it's a Dyna Felt Park Royal. I reckon it does fit me too, cowboy. So put it on my bald head. It is a seven and a quarter. That's why. That's my that's my head size too. Just about like seven one eighth, seven and a quarter, somewhere around there. It needs a little bit of cleaning up. Um, the felt doesn't look too great. It looks a little bit of, looks like there's a little bit of pilling, but I think it's supposed to be. It's supposed to look like that a little bit. Maybe I could be wrong, guys. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully this is like a fifty dollar bill right here. Um, remember, and I think we found the cowboy hat. We found a hat for Jordan, so so let's put that over there, put that over there, and let's get through these bags, guys. There's a lot of stuff that I would like to do today, I would like to get through it. So I picked this up at the thrift store yesterday, um, this is just like a $15 sale. It's brand new, still sealed, so I figured why not, it's only $3. And then, we've seen this shark skin. Um, it is on a vintage, on a vintage tag, imported fabric. I don't think it, I don't know if it's wool or not. It does have the, it doesn't have the size, but it does have the, it does have the union, you know, the union made tag on the inside. Whenever you see that tag, it's got a little sewing machine on it. That's the union tag. That means it was made in USA. Um, union made. Okay, so this is a Sears administrator tailored exclusively for Sears, Roebuck and Company, USA. So obviously this is made in USA, but this is the fabric that I'm talking about. It's kind of like an iridescent. It kind of changes with the light as you move it. See how the, it's changing colors. This is called shark skin. Um, and anytime you see this type of pattern, um, preferably on a newer suit, on a high end suit, then you're looking at some good money. Um, this one, if somebody offers me $75 for it, I'm going to take it. Um, the inside, I did check the trousers, which is very important to do with these suits. Um, the pants, I believe, are, I don't think they're pleated, but they are cuffed. They're not, they're not pleated. I think they're flat front, um, which is, you never know what's in style anyway, so who knows. But you always want to check inside 
of the trousers like in the front right in this area right here sorry guys but in the crotch area a lot of times there are stains there um, and you don't want to sell them when they're like that so it looks like there's absolutely no let out in these pants and this is called the seat yeah there is that's the let out that's left in the seat to make these bigger to make the butt bigger um, the waist so they are they are not pleated so that's a good thing a little more modern modernized they are cuffed but the cuffs can be let out they can always just take the cuffs out and they can make them longer if they want I'm sure there's a little bit of fabric left so not a bad find um, I think suits are like $13 I used to be able to pick them up for like seven for like seven like eight dollars and now those days you know they've come and gone so we did find a true religion I did look on the back of it to make sure to see if there was going to be a big spell out or a bling or something on the back anything to help the sale um, of this of this suit this is a woman's suit it's true religion it does have the tag right here um, I'm, I'm guessing that these are this is authentic nothing crazy about the pants you know just a just your plain red outfit it has just the the true religion symbol right there it looks like a horseshoe I'm not sure what it is but and then these are the Adriana Goldschmieds that I picked up there's the tag again I just want you guys to see what the tag looks like on the back all of the patches on the back they all look like this um, but these are high-waisted wide leg crops so they have like the these are the crops so these are not pants they're just they're like a cropped type of um, they call them fillies in Philly they call them fillies and then here we go I probably should have checked the the waist on these are really good and these are vintage I believe that these are yeah they still have like stickers on them right there so I'm wondering if there was more if there was a whole pack of these but I don't think that they came in a pack like that but these are new so I can sell these new that's good um, you can sell you can sell them used I'm thinking I know you can't sell used clothing on Amazon but on eBay you can sell anything used it's, there's certain categories and things that you can put things in like not to change the category I'm not like saying that you should change your category to make to fix your listing but it's something like that all right so then here's all the shoes we got the zero brand we're going to clean these up the best we can i'm not doing that today i don't have time these are called the wing tip that's the wing tip um and these must be really expensive when they're new and they hold their value um there's no holes in them they look really good they look good on the inside um they basically just wore them and dirted them up I'm going to clean all of that up over in the sink because um, they definitely need cleaned. And then these are cool. These are Torpa, Torpa Toff, Toffbound. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's definitely, it's Sweden. So these are from Sweden. These are from Sweden. Look at the golf balls. Check out the golf balls. Those I think are going to do really well, guys. We're going to see. <clears throat> and then these are the Dr. Shoals. Whenever I find these, I always, they always sell right away. These, I'm guessing, are, they're not new. They were definitely worn, but they weren't worn that much. That, I'm guessing, that's probably going to come right out. I'm hoping that it comes out, so we'll see. We shall see, said the blind man. Next. Normally, all right, this is all bin stuff. Normally, I don't do, oh, I didn't see that either. Ah. Uh. This is why you got to look at your items, guys. Look at the wear on the back of that jacket. I didn't even see that. I'm probably going to hang this up in here. I'm not going to put that on eBay. I should have left that. And then I grabbed this Champion. This is an older tag. That's like Y2K, 90s. Um, but this is like in perfect condition. It's a big size. I think I've sold these before. They don't sell for much. Um, what Champion you want to find? Like reverse weed. There's certain things that you have to look for in order for it to sell eight arms of horror beware the terror squid so that's pretty cool this is like a heavy metal band um it's double-sided so i'll probably get like 20 bucks for this shirt remember we spent <coughs> excuse me there it goes <coughs> we spent 30 dollars check out these apple bottoms 
apple bottom jeans with boots with the fur. All right, whatever. I can't sing. Anyway, um, these are in pretty good condition. A little bit of distress right there. You think that was? I think that's supposed to be like that. These are a little more modern. These aren't like old apple bottoms. They do have a little string right here that I'm going to cut. Unfortunately, that's in the it's in the thread. So we'll just have to. We got to cut that. Yeah. A little bit of thread coming off right there, as you guys can see right in the corner right there there's a little bit of thread coming off but that's okay it's not too noticeable still apple bottoms they are skinny legs so like i said i don't even know what's in sale right now on sale right now hopefully we'll do okay with that um i grabbed this because it's super light it'll be super light to cheap or yeah super super cheap to to ship it's just a harry potter it's a huffin hufflepuff it's a women's Harry Potter. Um, when I look at women's stuff now, I'm looking at sizes. This is an extra large. It's a bigger size. So it is a women's XL. Check out this tie. Um, this is a 007. It's a Ralph Marlin. If you don't know who Ralph Marlin is, he makes a lot of ties. It has the Marlin logo on it. Um, this one is obviously probably from the 90s. 1995. This is the James Bond movie posters. Um, probably like a $15 tie. Nothing crazy. It's in really good shape. Um, no stains. Then we found Thor. Thor without his hammer. I don't know what that's worth. I gotta look it up. I just grabbed him because it's a toy. And I believe that this feels like it feels like it was, was never really worn. It's got a thing in it's got a thing in it. I gotta get this thing out. Come on, bro. There we go. I still have the tag. So, too bad it's not my size. A cool little Lakers goes with my hat, but it's um it's like a medium. It's actually a small, which is big. That's big for a small. It'd probably be like a medium. That is really big. Probably why it was why it ended up at the bins because somebody might have bought it and thinking that a small should fit them when it was really practically the size of a medium all right and these are this is a lee made in usa this is a vintage um stains on it aren't too bad like small stains on the back nothing too crazy but it's a thermal top i always do well with these vintage thermal tops people buy them probably like hunt in or whatever i'll probably get 20 bucks for that and look out for these casios when i seen boss on this one i thought that this one might have a little bit more value and i was absolutely right um this is like a 30 dollar calculator i got to put batteries in it i have to take the back off and it probably takes like probably like three or four button batteries like um what are they called like pacemaker batteries whatever button batteries this is 100% wool, just a scarf, super light, Strawberry, Strawbridge and Clothier, That's, there is no Strawbridge and Clothier no more, this is in great condition, um, there's no holes, anytime you see wool you want to check for holes, um, just your basic scarf, it's in good shape, not too shabby, and I grabbed this because it is brand new, it's a Simply Southern, I don't know if they sell this in the dollar store or what what the case is with this but it was brand new with tags it's got a cool little um god thing on the back like religious quote then we found brand new hats we found this one atlanta georgia it is brand new was never worn this one is a phillies kids club this one is cool still has the paper on the inside this is probably um it says rally giant this is definitely a giveaway. I don't know if it's missing the button on the top or it's like it has a really, the brim on it is like really bendable. This, I'm just gonna throw the paper out cause it's just, it is what it is. Somebody would want that for their kid. I don't know if this is vintage or not. We'll have to look it up. Um, it has a giant, 
giant logo on the back. So it's a giveaway, probably a, um, I think there's a giant stadium. So that's, that's definitely what that is. Move this bag up. Another one under there. There, I still have things to ship today, so we gotta get, get to stepping. Here we go. I got this at the thrift store yesterday. It was $2.99. This is a $25 piece. It's in pretty good condition. It's not perfect. But um, other than that, without the box, it's not too bad. It actually looks pretty good. So, move that there. And then I always pick up sunglasses when I see them. These ones are, they don't fit in the case. I gotta get them out of here. There. All right, so these are Scott. I'm gonna clean these right now. These are made by Scott. I'm not sure what the lenses are like. Kind of, kind of popping out of there. Let's try to clean them, guys, and see if we, they don't they don't go in this case. This is actually a nice case. Something I could probably put my glasses in. Nice little leather. They're not worth anything in those cases, but somebody bent these all up. I'm going to try to fix them. Yeah, somebody did. Somebody bent them all up. You can bend. These are like bendable. You can fix them. I'm going to try to clean them, guys. See what we can do. Let's see if we can fix them. Try to clean some of the dirt off them. These wipes that I have that I got, I bought them in bulk. They're like really wet. <clears throat> you got to wring them out to use them. Ah, oh, see? The lenses are like, they're coming right out. Oh, no. I don't know about these guys. This is like one piece in here. I always wipe my table down that I take my pictures on. It gets dirty a lot when I'm doing like older items like cars and stuff, toys. So most of the clothing that I do is clean. That's just for like hard goods. Hard goods dirty up here. The bottom, I don't see any markings on these, I don't know. I said, I don't know if these are wor really worth anything. I have to look them up. Let's see, just trying to clean them up. Let's see, those are old school guys. That's that old school. They just the lenses. They're not. They don't seem to be staying. They're coming clean, but they're really hard to clean because the the lenses are just popping right out. Man, these are really delicate. I think they're scratched. No, they just need to clean better. Sorry guys, this is like really boring. Just trying to clean them. Probably should be doing this an another time. So I don't know, guys. We got to look them up. I just seen Scott, and I know that they do make. Um, those are definitely vintage. I'm gonna look them up because I'm really curious. All right, guys. So there's not a huge demand for them. The ones that I am seeing that they say Scott right here, they're a little bit different. I think that these are old, guys. I think these are these are most likely 70s or 80s. Um, they're just really cool to look at. They they don't stay together. Like they don't stay in the frame. Um, probably have to like maybe bend the frames around to get them to, to really stay in, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way they're made. They look like the lenses could just pop right out. Um, I would imagine that they probably do and you could probably maybe replace them. Is that, 
Does that say Scott down in the corner? Sometimes they'll have like it'll be etched, but that's definitely etched on. Definitely etched on. I don't think that that's somebody's name, Scott, on their glasses. I don't think that's what that is. So I think those that's what those are. But you know, it is what it is. All right, so check these out. These are these are Izod salt waters. They're a little too small for me. I they're too short. Well, no, they. They do have a 10 inch inseam. So these are cool. I thought these were nice. Um, nothing crazy. Um, probably just a $15 piece. But I love the lawn chairs. The little lounging. The beach chairs. That's really cool. Then we did find a couple ties. Um, these are Von Furstenberg. <clears throat> there's two of them. I'm going to sell them together. I think this is the other one. So there's one and two and then there was one tie that was brand new i believe it's this one nothing crazy just a gian gianfranco ruffini italy i wonder if it's made in italy 30 dollar tie probably get 15 bucks for it i'll list it for 30 put it on sale see if somebody bites then check this out guys i did notice that there was some there was some moth trails like there's one there that's a moth trail that's from it being stored and being eaten, some type of bug or something, maybe moth. But that's the only one I'm seeing. This one I wanted to do a little bit more research too. Um, not really sure. Sometimes guys don't do, they don't do their due diligence as much as they should be. I know this is a Burton, Burton Snowboard Thermo Layer. Let me look it up. All right, guys. So there is one. There's one listed for like twenty-eight dollars. Um, I still think that this is probably valued a little bit more than that. This is a it's a men's medium. Somebody has like an extra small one online, and that's just. So I don't know what that black cat thirteen is. I know that black cats and the number thirteen are both bad luck. So, yeah. Um, I don't know about wearing that number. You know about that guys what do you think all right and i did pick up the grand theft auto because the game's not in there but look at that it has the map anytime i see the map obviously i'm going to grab it because i know that um as soon as i find this game i can lock this up and um probably get about 25 for this game with with the um with it complete um we did find another pair of old some old sunglasses these are These are Safilo. Safilo. Look at that. They even have the bend on them and everything. These are cool. These are old. Um, and they're, I, I think, these are regular sunglasses too. So that's a good thing. That means that these are not, um, they're not prescription. Let me see. I'm going to use this. Yeah, I just did pick it out of the trash because it's still... Still got some use to it. I do that all the time. I'll throw them in there and I'll be cleaning cars, like all these cars that I got, guys. All these die casts and stuff. I have to clean them. And that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll be like, you know what? I can use, I need to use that again. And I'll just pull it out and use it again. Alright, this is cool. It's got like some type of like marble on the side. So maybe we have a good, we have a decent find here. 20 bucks maybe, you know, 25, we'll see, maybe more, um, I don't know if these are silver, sometimes they're gold filled and, you know, who knows, they're definitely not gold, they're silver toned, so maybe they're white gold filled, you just, you never know, I think it will say gold filled, it'll say GF. It just says Safilo. Made, yeah, they're probably made in Italy. It's kind of all worn out though, so we're just going to shove these back in here and we'll deal with those later. Maybe we'll put this pair in here. Yeah, they fit in there better. And they can go in here better. Yeah. Alright, and then we got these Nikes. They are a small. But always do well with these little Nike, little athletic shorts. They'll do well. Then here is the, wonder what his name is. Has he got, his name is Rascal. 
I think it's a bat. Isn't it a bat? Yeah, he's a bat. I don't know what he's worth. We'll have to look him up. He's the mascot for the Harrisburg Senators. And then we have... Word. Um, I can't remember what he's called. I think he is from 2000... 2010. So, yeah, sure. But he works. And... People said they do sell. So, let's see. And then we found some Chacos. If you guys don't know Chaco, you better ask somebody. Um, these are just sandals. Um, they're in very good condition. There's the logo, Chaco. They still have the size piece sitting there, which I'll probably just take that off. They're a size 8. Yep. And I don't know what the sandals are worth. I've never found them. So, And then here is the big winner. From yesterday, the Bigfoot shirt, really, really dope graphics. Um, we should do well on that. So we're gonna keep moving, guys, because I gotta get this done. We gotta get it over with. And then we got the Supreme. That's pretty cool. Wish it was Supreme, but. We got the Supreme guy over there, and then somebody handed me this. I don't know which one, that, I think it's like Batman. I think that um, AMG is BMW, and this goes on your visor, and then there's a clip right here that you clip things to. Somebody handed this to me. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. Maybe it's worth reselling. I don't know. Here's another throwback from, from uh, one of my fellow resellers. He threw this back. This is a um, PBR, which is the Professional Bull Riders. It has the spell out all down the sleeve. I don't know why he threw this back. Maybe... Maybe the sell-through just wasn't there. Sometimes people throw things back. It may what what he might not have wanted and didn't think would sell for him may sell for me. Check out this Wrangler. This is like another like Western Pearl Snap bull riding. Look at the flames on that. That's really cool, guys. There, there's no way I was going to leave that. That's just too cool to leave. And then we have a Vineyard Vines. I'm going to have to clean it. I'm going to have to wash it. This is an older vineyard vines kentucky derby and as you can see there is the kentucky derby on it it does have pockets pockets are good i just think it's dirty and it needs wash so we're going to take that home and we're going to wash that today not sure what the value is on that found a bag full of goodies in here okay so that bin fell over and everything fell off of it so you know typical these are these are iPhone headphones they're not worth much but they are cool to have um, they're definitely cool to have they're not brand new um, sometimes the newer ones do well I'll probably just hold on to these because my son has an Apple phone um, and he likes the Apple headphones and there was a lady thrifting yesterday handed this to me and his National Geographic sounds of the space age from Sputnik to lunar it's one of those like really thin it's one of those little thin records that they actually do play a lot of people look at these and they're like what the heck are they it's an actual record it's an actual recording um, so we'll see I don't know what the value is on that I didn't look it up and then we found these Torrids they do sell. Um, they're going to be a little expensive to ship. They're heavy. They're like a heavyweight um, type of like legging. They're a big size. They're a three size three short. So the pockets are not pockets are pockets, but no, they're not. The back pockets are not pockets. Um, the front pockets are. There we go. Okay. So yeah, these are they're clean on the inside. Sorry guys, you got to look. If you don't, you know, you got to look. You don't want to catch a bad one. Trust me. You don't want to catch a bad one. And then check out this. I think this was Nike. No, this was Adidas. Just a really cool Adidas. It's got like a jersey coming through the bottom. Like really neat. Um, super, super clean. No stains. None that I'm seeing. Um, it has the Adidas. Has the Adidas logo right there. So pretty cool. Like I said, for what we spent yesterday, we didn't we didn't do too bad. 
check out this Rick and Morty. This is also super clean. It's got a really cool all over graphic logo on it. Um, just really, really neat. So I'm not really sure what that one is worth. That one is about my son's size. I don't know if they'd be into wearing that, but somebody handed me this. I know the record's worth good money if you can find it, but check out how super clean this copy is. It's just super, super clean, next to new. Um, I do have a tape player. I am. I can test it out. Um, it looks good. The foam. The foam looks good in it. It just. It's really, really nice. 1982. Something that old to be in that good condition. Too bad there wasn't. There might have been more tape somewhere. I just didn't see them. But somebody handed me that. Here is the Sega. 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 That's the Sega. I don't know why I grabbed that. It's Modelo. It's just not something that you see very often. It's just a koozie. And then last but not least, guys, check out. We got another Ralph Marlin. This one is the world's greatest dad, which is what I am and what you should think you are if you're a father. Every day, strive to be a better person, a better father, a better husband, yada, yada. 1996 vintage. There you have it, guys. Whoops. Got a fan on over here. It's kind of blowing everything this way. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to finish the rest of that video and show you what we found. Hopefully, it wasn't a super long video, which I'm sure I'll have to cut some things out and do some editing, make it a little bit shorter. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button, and hit the notification bell down there to get notified when I post another video. And that's all I got for you. So get the hell out of here. Peace out.